Hello all you YouTubers out there, it's Mr Factotum here. I've had a break off from my, garage, from my workshop work in doing my steam engine and uh, I'm in my conservatory because it's, a, it, we're in, it's 3rd of May, it's freezing cold outside and raining and miserable and I thought I'd just have a break from my me, from me, uh, steam engine and I'm, I'm having a look at me, me dad's miner's lamp that he got presented with back in 1984 when he retired after 43 years service <clears throat> it's a Proctor Lamp and Lighting Company Limited Eccles they're the makers and it's a Type 6 M Q safety lamp Approval number B stroke 28. Got that. So my dad got presented with this and uh, when he finished work and he's had it on his fireplace ever since he passed away in 2015 and he's always polished and polished and polished it. Uh, in his later years though, he put that much polish on that, and he never rubbed it off properly. It's, it's all got caked up in polish and there's polish everywhere. And uh, after my dad died, I gave this to my daughter, his granddaughter, to, to look after for him. And I've only just really had time to, to think about this, this lamp. Because I've had that much of many other things on my mind, and uh, I asked my daughter to bring it up so I could see if it, see if it worked. Because she's never had it working, and it's one of the lamps that's a safety type lamp that's self striking with this striking pin here. Now, it don't work, I don't know if it ever has worked for sure, but it should work. So what I decided to do, uh, I decided to take it to pieces and, and see if I can fathom out what's going off. Now I've, I've tried to get this to pieces, but before I did that I've had a good study at it. And uh, I've scraped some of the polish right off around this mechanism here at the bottom. I could see this as some sort of catch because it's got a hinge pin. And I think there should be a locking pin in there that might be missing. I'm not sure about that. But anyway, I've scraped all the polish off from around this mechanism. And I've managed to get this mechanism undone now. It pivots round. So I'm assuming, with it being a miner's lamp, that that's just some sort of safety mechanism. So it doesn't unscrew. And also, I've, I can see this little hole at the bottom, and I'm assuming that's where you fill, fill it up with whatever you use, paraffin or oil, I'm not quite sure what, what you it, I think medium. There's, a, it, there's a, a part here that's threaded on this top part, and then there's a part here that's got a line across, and I'm assuming that screws So up. what I've done, I've heated it up with air dryer, to expand everything and I tried to take the top off first and uh, I get it so far and I don't know if you can hear that click it's clicking and it's uh, there's something stopping it so after a bit more studying the pillars that go around the glass I found I noticed there's two together here, and on this on this this one here, there's a little step, a turn step, that same diameter as all. And when I've got my torch and looked up that, I can see that this pillar is stuck proud into the threaded part of the top. So it must be some sort of safety mechanism to stop you unscrewing the top so after a bit more thought maybe you've got to take the bottom off to get the top off so I've, I've heated it up at the bottom here and I've managed just before I put this video on 
so I've not done anything else to it because you can see all the polish is still on I've managed to crack this and get the bottom off and actually when it cracked it screws off quite easy so I've got the bottom off and that holds the wick and the uh, paraffin or whatever it has in its in its base slides down and then so that's another safety mechanism so the top don't screw off accidentally I think and you can't get to that until you took the bottom off and you can't take the bottom off till you took this other safety mechanism off on the base so it's all to do with safety so that, now that pin's dropped the top screws off quite easily so that's the top off and uh, I don't know if you can see inside this <laughs> my dad's put that much polish on he's put polish on everywhere and, it, and he hasn't rubbed it off quite properly in his later years I don't think and if you don't know if you can see inside it's caked up it, the polish has run through the vent holes and all down the sides I don't know if I'm let me get my torch see if that'll make it, make it show up can you see that polish? There's 35 years worth of polish running down sides of that. So uh, I managed to get these. The top uh, off. They're not filters. The screens. It's a double screen. I, I think that must be just a, a safety feature to stop the flame coming through. So if it's in the mine, it don't ignite any gas that might be down the mine so it's got a double screen on it and then on the second screen that fits in the outer screen you've got this seal it looks like some sort of fiber fiber type washer seal that sits on the glass And then when you screw the top on, it presses the screen onto the seal and onto the glass. So, I can remember my dad telling me there's two types of this lamp. I'm no expert on these, so if any experts out there don't, you know, don't start uh, trying to pull me up because I'm only learning this myself. There's the automatic striking one with a striking pin that turns that. Let me take the glass out. That turns the striking mechanism inside. And I think that must be missing a flint because there's no, there's no resistance and friction on that, it's just free. So I'm assuming that's why it's not striking. But he did tell me there's the, there's the automatic striking type, which I think deputies used. And then there were another type of lamp that didn't have that striking mechanism. You can get all this polish off. I don't know uh, how long that's going to take me. So I'll, I'll stop the video here while I clean everything up. And then once I've got everything cleaned and had a look at this mechanism, we'll come back and we'll have a talk about this mechanism, I think, before I put it back together. So, just before I do leave you to clean it up, I've got this, I've got this little cover off that fitted over the uh, striking mechanism and the, where the wick comes through. That's just held on with two screws. And uh, I've undone the uh, the nailed screw on the striking mechanism, and I'm assuming that's where your flint goes. Up there, I've just unscrewed that little. I don't know if you can see that. 
a little screw and a little spring that's come off this mechanism here where it strikes. So I'm assuming there should be a flint in that and there's, there's something in it but I can't quite see. But there's polish all over the place where my dad's polished it. And uh, having got that off and this little cover, it's now enabled me to get this uh, striking me mechanism assembly off. It's tight but it's coming. That's it. So now I can uh, I can get that cleaned up. Look at polish. There's polish everywhere. It's, it's seeped in every in every nut and cranny. I'll uh, I'll sign off just for now, but I'll come back to it as I progress a bit further. So it's going to be uh, maybe a couple of hours for me and a couple of seconds for you. So I'll catch you later on then. Right, <clears throat> is everybody still with me? What was a couple of seconds to yours ended up being a couple of hours to me to get this cleaned up. Anyway, it's all cleaned up now. All dust blown out at screens. All brass polished up. Everything ready to reassemble. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is get this... Um, I found a new flint I had in one of my... Um, from one of my welding strikers so I've got a new flint to put in so that's going to go in this mechanism here so that just drops in there like that then there's a spring follows that flint and then a cap to cover the spring and that screws on right so we'll put this is the base I'll put the centre part of body on first I think and that just screws on it tightens up and then uh, the striking mechanism will, will go on next I think that's right yeah and there's two holes in this plate and it's got to line up with the base Before you put the screws in, you've got to put this cover plate on. And I think that. So I just have to line everything up. Then these two little brass screws fit in them. That's one. That's two. That's that, and then I think uh, <clears throat> this fibre washer went on the bottom of that. Then it's the glass onto the fibre washer. Uh, fibre washer on top of the glass, then the inside filter fits to that. Then the outside filter fits onto that, and then we can screw the top piece on. Right, uh, just made a little mistake there. The top has to go on before you put the base on. It's not a problem. <coughs> I've just got to screw the base off so that this pin, this safety pin, drops down so I can get the top on. Yeah, I forgot about that. Right, so that's enabled that pin to drop now. Which will now allow the top to be screwed on. And when that top's <clears throat> when that top's fully screwed on, this pin should then slide up like that. Look. So when top's screwed fully on, 
that allows that pin to locate in this top thread up here to stop it unscrewing accidentally so that can go back onto the base now And that's it, it's all back together now. I'll just zoom out a fraction, I think you're not seeing the full picture. That's better. it it's all back together now <clears throat> just got to put the striker the striking mechanism in So here's the striking mechanism. That's it. Right, so all we want now is some fuel. Now I've not got no paraffin. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, I'll just, uh, I'll be back in a second. I'm back, I just had to nip in my workshop, I, I had a container with a little bit of diesel in. Uh, I filled it up with diesel, but not, not total diesel, I've mixed it with a bit of methylated spirit. And uh, I filled the reservoir up and let it soak in, I'm going to try it now. I'll just have to turn that wick so it's showing a bit better. I think he wants a new wick. Just zoom into that. And then the bottom control here, here in focus, underneath here there's a control that turns that two button down in the centre to control your flame. Now I'm not sure what fuel it should use, it's probably paraffin that it should use. I'm not 100% sure, I'll have, to read, I'll have to have a read up on that. But I've put a mixture of diesel mixed with some meths in, methylated spirit. And it's, it's lit, it's uh, crackling and spitting a bit, but it's not smoking. Um, so uh, just for a trial run, I think that, that's okay. But I will have to, anyway, yeah. Uh, First time that's been lit for 35 years uh, since my dad were, were present at his presentation and was given this in it for his it's it's the striking mechanism one and I think they also had one that they ignited with an electric with a battery in it, with electricity uh, for the pits so that. Ignore that bit that I said earlier about that hole. Oh, that's for I think that was for something completely different, a lamp, a lamp for a different use. Uh, I'm not hundred percent sure about that anyway. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, I hope you found that interesting, and uh, it's been a bit of a break from me doing me my steam engine, which I'm doing my locomotive. And I'll uh, probably continue with that next then, uh, next part of my locomotive. So uh, I'll sign off for now then and uh, thanks, for not, for, thanks for watching. And if you've not seen my other videos, take a look at them. And uh, if not, I'll catch you on my next video. Bye for now then.